on. Play your clip first. We are going live now. We we are live already. We are waiting for your clip. Mama T. Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to Room Talk, where it is sizzling hot, interactive, and transforming. Yes, if you're watching live, hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, remember to add tag replay. If you're watching the video, share it with your friends, share it with your family. And if you have any comments, put it on the comment section. And we also wanted to put it on the session if you have any question regards today's topic. And today's topic, we are going to be looking at the topic you and insurance you and insurance and we have with me in the studio my co-host dr femi samuel good evening sir
Good evening, sir. I've got some summer. Can you hear me? Good evening, Mama. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. And also, we have some insurance companies in the house. Good evening. Good evening, sir. It's good to have you. And also, we have some special, special guests today. We are with us, Mrs. Mabel Hager. She is an insurance specialist. Mrs. Hager, welcome to Real Men's Talk. Thank you so much, Mama. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, good evening, ma'am. Also with us is another insurance specialist, Mr. Ganiyu Karim. Welcome to Real Men's Talk. Thank you very much for having me on your show today. I really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. It's a pleasure to have you. So we are Thank going to you, dive straight to, to, to today's topic. You and insurance. So as we go, we want to know what a lot of people hear insurance and the, what they think of is just uh, when you have an accident, you buy, you pay a certain company that will take care of your car. That's what a lot of people know about insurance. So we want to know, Mr. Karim, what is insurance all about? What is insurance? All right. Thank you very much for that wonderful question. Insurance is simply a love document. I said it again. It's a love document that, that husbands give to the wife. And also it's a love document that wife also gives to the husband as well. It simply means that what? Insurance simply means a contract agreement within the insured and the insurance company. That is, if anything happens during their contract agreement, the insurance company going to work pay quickly. And also, not just that, insurance is not only by maybe until when anything bad happens, because people's perception always believe that what insurance is insurance is until when anything bad happens. The answer to that is what? No. Are you with me? Yes. All right. So, like I said, it is a love documented contract agreement within the insured, which is that the client and also the insurance company. That is within the reasonable, within the, within the contract and uh, contract terms, should in case if anything happened to the insured, the insurance company bear the risk. Do you understand, man? However, also, it also goes beyond that as well, because we have varieties of insurance policies that we deal with. Not just only until when anything happens in the person, maybe in terms of death, or maybe in terms of permanent disability, or maybe in terms of um maybe in terms of maybe when someone something bad happened, maybe serious illness happens to an individual. So that is simply reality about insurance companies. Thank you so much, Mr. Karim. Now go to Mrs. You're welcome. Adrian, who needs insurance? <laughs> wow. Who needs insurance? Everybody. Everybody so needs insurance. Me that I need insurance. Because I'll tell you, maybe I don't need insurance. Yes. How can that happen? Yes. Um, if you have loved ones, if you have loved ones or relations who depend on you for regular income, allowance, or financial support, you need insurance. Not only that, if you have future financial goals, that you need to secure, you need insurance. If you have any major outstanding financial debt, 
We also need insurance. As I said, everybody needs insurance. If you have age parents that, you know, in your absence, they will suffer loss, you will, you will need insurance. Even in absence of that, you know, your age parents, you may be the one in charge of their funeral expenses. And that's why you also need insurance. Another reason why everybody needs insurance is this. If your loved ones will find it difficult to cope in your absence or suffer to um, take care of your funeral expenses, you will need insurance. So basically, everybody needs insurance. Everybody. Thank you. Mrs. Edgen. Mr. Karim, what is the difference between we hear life assurance, we hear insurance? What's the difference between the two? Thank you very much for that wonderful question. When you are talking about insurance, insurance is that policy that individuals bought that ensures that was in case of any eventuality, the person is 100% secure. And not just that alone, also, the family has also covered. But when it, comes about, when it comes to life insurance policy, life insurance policy is a contract agreement between the insured and the insurance company. That because that shows that in case of the future, if anything happens to that individual, the family is not going to be covered because we have seen several and series of our cases whereby when the breadwinner of the family is gone, the lifestyle of the family turned upside down. So, insurance in place ensures that what once an individual has insurance in place ensures that what even though the breadwinner is no more than the picture again, the lifestyle or the, the ways or manner of which the family are living before, because even, even though it's going to be changed, it's going to be, to be minimum and doesn't affect them in negative way. Okay. Hello, can you hear Thank me? Thank you so much, Mr. Karim. Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Dr. Samuel? Dr. Samuel? Loud and clear. Okay, you yes, have I don't know about what you're doing now. I'll be having a problem with my... Hello, can you... Am I on the room? I want you to ask questions. <laughs> Because the line is all members, and a lot of people. How so many? How so many of you? Into the problem. I'm good. The money, no problem. But well, the problem with it is that getting when it comes to getting your pay, you have to start praying to God to get. You know, in Nigeria, we pray to God for everything, even what you can actually sort out. You pray to God for there to be light. You pray to God so that uh, you'll pay your salary on time. You pray to God for everything because the what all, most of our prayer requests is being created by the society. And insurance is not uh, exempted from our society. I have had people that have to start praying to even get their claims back when there was a problem. I have one or two. I have been to an insurance uh, company as a general secretary to discuss with them about some times when we need to get claims. So the problem most of us personally have with insurance is not the policy. The policy could be so wonderful. But when it comes to getting your claim, so is there any law regulating 
or anybody that one can report an insurance company to that has defaulted or in defaulting when it comes to getting your claims. Hope I'm audible enough, man. Yes. Okay, do you want me to respond to that? Hope I'm audible mm -hmm. enough. Okay, yes, yeah, audible. Okay. Yes, yes, ma, I want you to respond to that. Okay, really, um, you know that in insurance, he who comes to equity must come with clean hands. So if you have taken a very good policy and along the line, you are defaulting in payment, then it will be very difficult for the insurance company to pay you should there be any claim. However, if you know, if you have paid your premiums as, as when due, and you have disclosed all the things that you're supposed to have disclosed, you know, some people may have a terminal illness. They will not inform the a company until six months down the line, the person will die of heart attack. And the uh, report will show that he has had this problem for 15 years. And in that instance, the person has not really come with good faith. So these are some of the reasons why your claim may be turned down. However, if your claim everything is in order and your claim is being delayed or being uh, rejected of course there is a board, a, a, a board governing the affairs of all insurance, insurance companies in nigeria so you can write to them nicom is there you can write to them um to um mediate in the matter but I tell you, um, if this has been the case many years ago, recently it is no longer the case because most of the companies now ensure that within a week, within five days, within two days, depending on the type of claim that you need to do, you yeah, are being settled. Um, I'm sure my colleague can testify to this. Thank you. Definitely, yeah. Okay. I wanted Dr. Samuel to. Okay. Okay. Why is not? Okay. I'll ask this question. Mr. Karim, welcome back. Now, let's Thank you this. very much, ma'am. Um, what? Talking about insurance. Okay. Dr. Samuel wanted to say something. Okay. You can go ahead. Dr. Okay. Samuel, go on, please. Yes. Thank you very much. Was... Thank you very much. Just you, you know, sometimes we don't know anything about our it on Facebook, one of my colleagues that the fact that you are well doesn't mean that you are not sick. Maybe it's not yet known. I have a colleague that died. Exactly. Sincerely, autopsy was not done and we didn't know the cause of death. But we believe it's cardiopulmonary died at home. We didn't know the cause died at home. So what we do in the association is that we have group life, group life assurance at different levels. The NMA, the MDCAN, the ARD, the NADDP, everybody going to, I mean, the insurance. When it's time for us to get the claim, I didn't know what they saw on the, so I'm taking it personal now because uh, we have so many, I have so many people around me that are into insurance. So when it's time to get the claim, one of the insurance companies denied the other one because we are encouraged to have two three insurance claim denied and what was on that ground the cost of debt this person may not know a young man maybe less than 40 that doesn't even they may not be aware of this if the disease is even there or not and it was because of that it was, it was denied so we have to 
being the medical practitioner, I got other things. But that from that company where it belongs to as an affiliate, he didn't get the thing. And some of us start wondering, you see, what is it, you say Nikon now, can I report to Nikon. Even if you report to Nikon, how long will it take us to get our claim out? Writing petition, writing letter, attending meeting, and all those things supposed to be sorted out. I know of a colleague that was driving in the UK just on the steering or just spring. I wish I could just uh, someone could just bash my car. The other guy now look, what's wrong with you? Because she wants to fix the car for me. I want to change my car. That means their system is as effective as, as that. That you could even do something happen. But here we all know that if anything happens to you, you are on your own. That is one part I want. One part. Another part is presently now they make it compulsory for all when you are renewing your vehicle license to get insurance. But it's a top party insurance, 5,000 naira. How reliable is that top party insurance? I want you to talk about that. Thank you. Maybe Mr. Ghanil uh, Karim. Okay. Thank you very much for that and wonderful questions. You see, as we got to the third party, you see, when you're talking about third party insurance, it's an insurance that when you pick up a third party insurance, it simply means that what? If an individual pick up it, if Mr. A pick up a third party insurance and Parator, due to maybe on his way going to work or maybe on coming back home, use his own car to hit another person. So what the insurance company will be liable for is the person that he hit, I mean, the car he hit, not the person that pick up the third party. Are you with me, sir? Hello, sir. I'm talking about... I can't hear you, sir. We can hear you loud and clear. You can go on, please. Oh, oh, that is very good, sir. So when you're talking about third party, it simply means that you are picking an insurance upon them, picking a third party insurance policy because of in case if anything happened to whoever you are hitting or whoever car you are hitting. Do you understand me, sir? So that is simply so third party is simply means that what I am picking up an insurance policy and eventually, maybe due to fail or brake failure or due to one reason or the other with my car, I hit another person's car. The insurance company is going to be liable for the person, the car I hit, not my own car. Are you with me, sir? And as regards to the claim you made, sir, I wouldn't know what the person feel from the inception of the policy. Because there's something we call utmost good faith when you are filling a proposal policy with an insurance company. So, provincial, the person might not disclose some illness that is nursing in his body. And however, at the point of making the claim, the doctors or medical cause of death and also medical reports, they must have presented to the insurance company. They must have go through it and they discover that what probably there is some certain clauses that he must have tick in the in the proposal form, which we warrant of that of the insurance company not paying that claim. Are you with me, sir? Yes, I'm with you. Can you, am I audible now? Yes, you're audible enough. Very well, sir. Hello? I can hear you loud and clear, sir. Hello? Yes, we can hear you. I can hear you loud and clear, sir. Yes. Also say that as an association with doctors who benefited from insurance, I will also say that the kind of insurance we do for my association is good. The association yeah, insures everybody life, in case of death or permanent disability, the family gets yeah. a million naira. And yeah, where I practice, I can show you that last year I think we got like we lost like three of our daughters, and three of them got their money. But once in a while we have problems 
getting money from each other, especially if it's personal. But if it's group, you know, it's a little bit difficult because as a group, we have a lawyer that will press charges against him. So it's difficult for people, for the company to default if it's a group. You get presently now, my class in medical school, we are planning for insurance in which I think 10 or 20 million, I don't know. We have to pay like, I think 70 million, 70,000 naira each per group per year. And in case of debt or permanent disability, maybe I think it's 10 or 12,000 naira. If I, I'm not saying we are not getting, but once in a while we have problems with our company. And it raises, yeah. it, it usually gives us concern that, oh, I will get my money out. Hope oh, this will be sorted out. It's, it, it's called for concern. Even in the present country now, nobody's sure is going to get its retirement benefit when you retire. It's not sure anywhere. Nothing is certain in the country. This, and insurance is not exempted. Mama T, maybe you continue with the first one. My network has not been so good, so I've been struggling to be part of this discussion. But I can assure you that I'm listening to you. If I meet my device. Okay. Can I Thank say something? So Go on, ma'am. Okay. You see, um, your your group or your partners, you need more education and enlightenment on how to ensure that they feel the information truthfully and correctly. Because these are some of the things that can stop them from getting their claims. Um, each, if each person knows his or her, herself. So if they have a disease that is in their lineage and all such questions are asked, they need to truthfully uh, answer them. You know, when my um, colleague was talking, he mentioned utmost good faith. It is very, very important that they are educated on the need to truthfully fill the forms very well because um, if they don't, that might um, make it um, difficult for the company to pay them. And another thing is, um, for the company that was requesting for cost of debt, it's possible that he had hospital records. So if such records are produced, then they would have seen whether this person has had has such problems earlier than now, which he did not disclose. Because indeed, when you disclose all these things properly, then the insurance company will be able to determine whether to insure you, whether to um, out what premium that they should uh, charge you, because they know the risk that they are taking is now higher. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Adrian. We got that same situation. Okay, like Thank you very much. Well, I know that. Uh, okay, maybe we talk about. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello? Yes, we are listening. We can hear you. I know there are too many other factors. You just throw more light about insuring, insuring cars, other property. Talk about. Uh, uh, closing some uh, uh, health condition or or familiar to illnesses. Can you talk to us more about insuring our properties like car, like houses? What can we insure there for? What should because most people don't. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, Doctor Samuel. You see, um, there is something the populace don't yet understand. That third party insurance, that, that is 5,000. Most companies have limits up to 1 million, like my own company, have limits up to 1 million, that if you hit another person's car, if you hit a pole and damage it, and somebody is claiming, or you hit a human being that is walking on the road, they can come up for claim and that third party qualifies the company the insurance company to pay for the damages caused to another person as he explained earlier 
So um, people need to know that they can actually claim on this 5,000. Because yeah. when they get the 5,000 Naira insurance and they hit someone, they lie down and start begging if they are drivers or they start arguing or they will be, uh, they want to bring out money from their pocket. So arrest is not like that. But if they understand the limits of what the company can cover with that 5,000, that will help and go a long way. So um, to me, in Nigeria, we still need to educate people about insurance. We are still undereducated, grossly undereducated. So we need to do that. Then coming to your house, you know, nobody knows when calamity will happen. But if you are insuring your house or you're covering it against fire and burglary, and you store diesel in your house, you know, without disclosing the items you store. You know that such uh, an item is a very dangerous item. And if there is a fire, you will now have a problem with claim because you did not disclose that you also install inflammable items in your premises. Yes, and if um, you have insured your house against burglary, and yet you do not have fence, you do not have gates, your door is very weak, you have not done what is expected of you too. Okay. So, but generally, it is very, very important that we um, insure these things because we just cannot tell. Um, Many instances are bound. In Lagos, a um, few weeks ago, one filling station was uh, burning. And wow. I was just like, oh my God, I hope they have properly insured this place. And if that has been done, there will be no problem. The person will have the peace of mind that no matter what happens, he is not losing everything that he will get his uh, claims. So it's important on cars again. I must tell you that the best cover for your vehicles are comprehensive insurance. So that should anything happen, your, the insurance company will repair your car or change it as the case may be, or and also repair the damaged the um, third party's um, vehicle. So when you have comprehensive car insurance, you have peace of mind that no matter what happens that you are covered yeah. thank you thank you mrs Adrian. yeah now let's look at some other aspects of insurance thank you very much okay yeah, thank you very much Ma. Uh, most of us, we got the insurance paper from our vehicle license. How do we, how, how do we not take the company so that we can lay it on, I will not talk about it. Most of us have never thought of it before that it's just thought it's something you must get. So, please, man, so, I you. so uh, do we, because some, some people have said that you call the name on the card and see if you can call and get okay. across to the insurance company. I've never believed that. Sir. So, how do we get the one we got from licensing office? Is it authentic or we need to do? Can I talk? Hello. Hi. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma okay. Go ahead. Yes, I, I will need a response. You need to okay. tell us about insurance. That okay. You see, in respect to that, 
where you are getting your vehicle licenses, they let us with an insurance company there as well. So the third party they are doing there for you also is authentic. You understand me, sir? It's also now like down to the individual in case when the claim arises, when it's time for you to make a claim, it lies down to the individual. How do you approach the insurance company for me to get my claim? And how do I go about it? Do you understand me, sir? But the best possible way is that when you get your car, when you get all your necessary documents for your car, you can get across to any licensed insurance agent. So do the necessary document for you and also have their contact as well so that when it comes to claims, they don't tell you stories. So that is just the simple to sir. Hello, sir. Namati, maybe I'll allow you to continue. Yes, okay. I, I, I heard you. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Let me give Namati time. Thank you so much, sir. So I would like to know, um, like, I know some other people also want to know that there's some other side of insurance, you know, people will say, what if I don't die? Okay, some people will tell you that, oh, you asked me to do insurance. What's my benefit as a person? Is there any kind of insurance that one can do and you can also be a beneficiary of such insurance policy? I want you to enlighten us on that. Okay. okay. Um, yes, there is. As a matter of fact, there are several insurance policies an individual can key into that even when you are alive, you can have access to it. Do you understand that? There is something we call partial majority insurance terms. There is some policy that you can have access to at every two, two years. There is some insurance policy that you can have access to at every three, three years. Even there is some insurance policy that you can have access to at every five, five years. So it depends on the individual that, okay, fine, no. This is what I want. This is what I want. Do you understand, sir? However, that is when utmost good faith comes in. A client said, I want XYZ policy. And that is exactly what a responsible account officer should do for that client. Not that I want XYZ as a product of insurance policy. And the, 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 the agent now says, well, fine, because of my own selfish interest, I will give the individual ABC. Do you understand? So in that kind of situation, on the long run, the client, when it comes to a claim, the client always, they are, there's always an issue on the long run because one, I want something of like, something of like five years plan and my agent or my account officer now give me something like a 15 years plan. So we have series of that information. That is when our utmost good faith comes up that whatever product you are giving to a client, give it to the client, is that, give it to the client give the, that product to the client to suit the need of the client. Not that you give what suits yourself based on what you want to get from it. So that is exactly just, that is how that works. Thank you so much, Mr. Karim. Uh, Mrs. Agent, you know, in the process of being in a policy, maybe the person loses his job. So what happens? Maybe you've paid the premium, you suppose your, your Suppose the program is for let's say five, ten years or a life program. And in between the person loses his or her job, what happens? Okay. Um there are procedures for every policy. If a person loses his or her job, maybe for a ten year policy, five year policy. The person can actually apply to stop the policy from continuation. Yeah. Then another thing is this. If you are not able to pay premium for a particular period, there's always a grace period oh, yes. of at least 30 days for you to probably gather yourself, get another job. So um, it is not a rocket science. I think um, what we are experiencing is that people don't really, really understand the essence of insurance. And you see, 
if you have uh, an insurance cover and you are hard of cash, there is a provision if you have had it for some period to help you with some cash flows. It is there, but many people don't take advantage of it. Another thing is that if you have been covered um, for a particular number of years, some policies come with um, some clauses that after so many years, you can terminate if you wish to yeah, do so. Sure. So um, it is just for you to understand the policy you are taking and then let it be properly explained to you. Then always ensure that you read the policy document because all these things are stated there. The, um, uh, the maturity period, the probation period, all the terms and conditions, everything is stated in the policy document, but people don't collect it and dump. So let's try and ensure that once we get a policy document, we should take our time, go through it, ask questions. In fact, companies, insurance companies will give you up to 30 days to review the policy if you're not satisfied with it you can return it I'll return it back sure yes and your money will be refunded to you it's as good as that thank you uh, oh dr samuel can you read somebody is asking a question from facebook i'm trying to look for the comment can you see it the, there's a question or comment on the on the live chat, I'm trying to look at it. I can't find it. Can you see it? Can you see it's there, but I can't read it. It's talking about uh, is a principle that all insured must adhere to, and the insurance should do well in letting them know that if they didn't, if they didn't, it will hinder their claim. Okay, that's King Okay, yeah, I, I did say that, Doctor Samuel. Can you say that? Okay, I think I can read from here. Yeah. Yes, you read it right. Okay, I read it right. Talk on yeah. Yeah. It's just uh, what uh, has been stated earlier that you must have a small good faith. So, um, when you are filling your form, fill it properly. And then, the insurance company, the person is, is this is like a comment, that the insurance company should ensure that if these things are properly explained, and that if they are not properly filled, it can hinder their compensation of pain. That was what um, the person is taking there. Thank you, King D, for that um, comment. Thank you, King Lee. Okay, I can hardly see that. Okay, yes. Now, let's know, in, in case, like, you give example of when somebody insured his house against burglary and he doesn't okay. have friends, what is the responsibility of an account officer to make sure that everything is put in place? If I'm doing a policy, and you know that I have uh, there are some clauses in that policy that will not allow me to be paid because of my present situation. So why shouldn't I be told that? Now you're not telling me at the end of the day when I need to make claims. Okay. Um. Maybe I should say something here, and um, if uh, Karim have something he can add. You see, um, we don't act on assumptions. Insurance companies don't act on assumptions. You must state clearly the situation on paper. And it is that that they will use to review your situation. It is what the information that you have given to the insurance company that they will use to determine your premium. It is that same information that they will use to uh, prepare your claims. So in as much as you don't have all these things, you should also state it because um, if a house is being insured, there are provisions for, do you have this? 
Is it uh, how many story building? Is it how many flats, apartments? Do you have what kind of people are living there? Is it a commercial for commercial use or is it for a private property? So you need to state all these things. If you have stated that it is a private property, the agent will believe you. How about using your backyard to do bakery and something happens? It is no longer a private residence. So the onus is on the insurer to ensure that he states truthfully what is demanded on the form. <laughs> Thank you. What is understand those things. As a client, I don't know that. I don't know those things. Those clauses are in the policy that could work against me. So how am I supposed to know? Why are you just telling me at the end of the policy? That's where we always have problems. Okay. Um, and again, as I say, we need more education. Because when you get your policy, once your policy is given to you, you are supposed to go through it. If you do not have chance to go through it alone, you can ask your agent or your broker to explain it to you. And they will be able to do that. Thank you so much. May, uh, Dr. Samuel. Is Dr. Samuel there? Dr. Samuel, you can go on, please. please. Do you have some other questions? Like he's trying to unmute himself. Okay, while we are waiting for that, can I be a part of insurance? How can I benefit from insurance policy? Mrs. Adrian. Okay. Thank you, Mama T, for that question. Um, it's very, very simple. There are many insurance companies in Nigeria. And um, you can check out the company. Then if you also approach an insurance agent or insurance broker, they will take time to explain to you all that you need. And you can simply walk into any insurance company, meet the officer. The thing is that um, we tend to generalize, but it is not like that. As a financial advisor, I normally sit down with my uh, clients, understand their needs before I profile solution, the kind of insurance policy or cover that they need. As individuals, um, our needs are different. So first and foremost, you need to understand your needs. And it's your need that we determine the kind of cover that you take. For example, if you have young children and um, you may, your need may be to ensure that if there is any problem, if there is any unanticipated exit or sudden exit, that these children, um, their education is not truncated. That's your own concern. And then you may be a middle aged and you are concerned about your old age. How do I take care of myself when I'm old? What do I do? Your own need is quite different, you can see. And if you're a business owner, you have a very large shop, and sometimes you will go home only for somebody to be calling you that this market is on fire. And you are concerned that I hope I'll not come here one day and my shop has been raised down. Your own concern is equally different. So it depends on your concern. It depends on the area that you want to take care of. That will depend on the type of cover you will get. You remember, as we stated earlier, everybody needs insurance. There is always a need here or there that needs to be covered. And if you choose not to cover it, should there be any uh, unanticipated emergency, you will incur loss. So the idea of insurance is to mitigate that loss 
to cushion the effect of whatever that um any problem that would have occurred along the line so you can go about your business or anything you are doing with peace of mind thank you thank you mrs agent uh, before we go it's already nine o'clock i want to say thank you to Ola Wale Sani Kingle for your comments. My Ola Wale Sani said that these days people don't get to read the terms and condition. Those words in tiny words, uh, in tiny letters, people don't get to read it. Then I also want you to dive into this area of before we close today. For a certain age, we have people in their uh, early 30s, we have people in their, in their mid years. They have to be in their late for different group of people as per age, or let's say different group of people as per the kind of job that they do. Let, let's start with Mr. Karim. <laughs> Mrs. Edgel, you can okay, it's back. Yes, yes, it's here. You can go with that, Mrs. Adrian. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think fine. Mr. Karim is talking. Yes. 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 The network has not been in her position here, so I've been on and off. That is why I've not been. Oh, did you hear the question? No, I, I didn't hear the question. <laughs> We're asking what kind of insurance is good for a certain age group or what kind of insurance is good for a certain set of people that are in certain kind of career. Mrs. A. Jim, you have to take the question, please. <laughs> that question is destined for you. <laughs> That's why. <right. laughs> Dr. Samuel, can you hear Mrs. Ejim? I cannot hear her. I know she's talking. At all. I don't know oh, if the next one okay. okay. Can you hear me now? Now okay. we can As hear I, you. Yes, I think that insurance and life assurance are just there. And life assurance must happen because at a point, that we do an exit. So now, if you are talking about life insurance for individuals, the earlier you take life insurance, the better and cheaper. For example, if a 35 year old is taking a life insurance, the premium or the charges to be paid will be far less than a 60 year old. Yeah, exactly. Sure. That is one. Then another thing is, depending on your profession, because some professors are risky, riskier than others. The a 40 year old who is a university lecturer, the tendency of the person, the risk on the back of that person is quite different from a 40 year old who is a commercial bus driver yeah. or a pilot. So these are the things that the foreign company will put into consideration. However, if you don't take um, cover early enough, you may find yourself to be uninsurable because at age 75 and above, no insurance company may want to cover you. Do you understand? So it is better that you take your life insurance cover seriously and take it as early as possible. And then depending on the kind of um, work you do, the kind of vocation you do or your profession it is also important that you take it because um if you are as i mentioned a teacher or a pilot or an engineer 
maybe you are an engineer that climbs a um, 15-story building to do your job. The risk is higher than somebody that sit down in the office and do his or her job. So these are the things that are put into consideration um, before uh, determining the kind of insurance, the cost, the premium to be paid, and for how long. But generally, the earlier, the better. Thank you. So, um, Mr. Karim, you can ask me if your system is okay. My, uh, all right. Um, thank you very much, um, Mrs. Mibel. I really appreciate the opportunity given to us. Um, as a matter of fact, it is always good for indi every individual out there to ask. Uh, have at least in the long run on the long run it pay off and insurance is one of the love certificate that every man should give to their wife because on the long run either good or bad that is what life is all about. having an insurance policy doesn't mean that anything bad will happen but it prevents you in case of future occurrences a case of a certain that do happen sometimes when you never plan for it. I've seen series of things that that's happened sometimes when you never even thought of. I've seen someone yesterday, I went in a day within 24 hours, I had to again, which is my client, after like that. And what about if the person does not have any insurance policy? It's very hard to key into this wonderful opportunity to at least pick up one insurance policy or the other. Have it at the back of your mind that was whatever investment an individual is having, if he does not have an investment and that insurance policy that have something that have a life covered, your insurance. Investment portfolio is not yet complement whatever investments that we have. Bees and estates, bees and real estate money, we must have. His network is not so good there. Uh, Dr. Salma, before we go, we go, do we do you have any question for Mrs. Mabel so we can call it a day today on this topic? Yes, thank you very much. I know in uh, the Western world, professionals, they have insurance against uh, what, what we call litigation. That means that you cannot practice in some part of the world without having your insurance cover. And what is that? In case you are sued to court, is uh, demanding claim. The insurance company will come up and need to buffer for you in the tune of the ice and amount. We have such level of insurance in, in this country. Yes, that in case is. I'm sued, can I also insure in case I'm? Sued? Um, yes. So, uh, how do we, how do we go about how do we, it? How do we, uh, uh, an establishment or establishment or Okay. Thank you so okay. much, doctor. Thank, um, Thank you so much, you doctor. Have, you don't um, have to wait until um, you are sued um, or you are defeated. Yeah. And it's what if you are a professional, there's something we call professional in the something we call if you are a professional, if and you are getting a contract, and you are getting a contract, that contract most states that you have an insurance cover that you will do your job as a professional and your due done. So, so, so amount can be claimed for such damages or for such neglect so it is there in place and it's there um you don't need to really go to court 
or take your client once you are giving somebody a professional a contract and you request for that um performance bond or professional indemnity if there is any shortfall or any need to make it up insurance company will do good or justice to it thank you Thank you very much, Ma. Mr. Karim is somewhere at the back of the studio. I'm trying to bring him in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, me. I cannot hear you. I was muted. Sorry about that. Yes. Um, <laughs> that's a sound ball. Do you have any other question for them? No, ma. Okay. So, on the final note, Mr. Karim, what's your final word for people on regard on the issue of insurance? Your advice, the final note for today. What's your take home? Thank you, you very much. Take? Thank you very much, and host. I'll, my take home is that for every Nigerian to try as much as possible to pick up one insurance policy or the other, because on the long run, insurance pays. And insurance companies pay claims. That is the reality of it. Either at home or abroad, insurance companies pay claims. Thank you very much for having me on the show today. I really appreciate it. It's a pleasure having you. Mrs. Hedgen, what should be the people's take home on this subject matter today? Okay. Um, yes, on a final note, I would like to um, say that insurance pays. And um, you must add it to your portfolio of investment, no matter what it is, because that is the only investments that you can get ready cash should there be any emergency life is filled with uncertainties we do not know when any emergency will occur so it is better we protect ourselves and cushion the effect especially if we have loved ones it is very very important we do something about it so i want to encourage our listeners today um make sure you get in touch with any insurance personnel be it an agent or broker or a financial advisor to help you put a plan in place thank you thank you mama t for the opportunity to co-host this program thank you I really appreciate it. thank you mrs Hedrim. it's a pleasure having you on women's talk and we really appreciate you for educating and for the information you have given to our viewers today. And also to Mr. Ghani Karim, we are so glad, we are delighted to have you on Remain Talk today for being our guest. We really, really appreciate you for the information you have given across to people. And we are glad to have you.
having a reconversation on another topic. Till we come your way again, stay glued to Remain Talk, where it is season hot, interactive, and transforming. So, bye for now. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.